By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Describe applications of atmospheric pressure and gas pressure Solve problems involving atmospheric pressure and gas pressure Many everyday effects in our life can be explained by atmospheric pressure. To understand these effects, we need to see how they are caused by atmospheric pressure. Why does the suction cup stick on the wall? Why must we press on the suction cup for it to stick on the wall? When the suction cup is pressed onto the wall, most of the air inside the cup is being squeezed out. The suction cup is held in position by the atmospheric pressure acting on its outer surface. If the seal between the suction cup and the surface of the wall is airtight, the suction cup will stick on the wall. How does a vacuum cleaner clean dust and dirt? A vacuum cleaner produces only a partial vacuum. The fan inside the cylinder blows air out of the vents. With less air inside, the air pressure drops. The atmospheric pressure outside then pushes air up the cleaner hose, carrying dust and dirt with it. A syringe is used to give a patient medicine. It is used when medicine need to be administered through a vein or muscle. The syringe consists of a needle attached to a hollow cylinder that is marked with precise measurements so that the exact amount of medication can be given. How does it work? When the tight-fitting piston is drawn back along the cylinder, the air pressure in the cylinder is reduced. The greater atmospheric pressure outside the cylinder pushes the liquid up through the nozzle into the cylinder. When the piston of the syringe is pushed down the cylinder, an increased pressure is applied to the liquid and thus forcing it out of the nozzle against the atmospheric pressure. A lift pump is a type of reciprocating pump which draws fluid in at one end and expels it at the other end. How does it work? Why must the handle of the pump be pushed down and pulled up a few times before water can come out of the spout? The pump is like a syringe with two valves added. It consists of a piston moving up and down to and fro inside a cylinder. As the handle is being pushed down, the piston is raised, reducing air pressure in the cylinder below the piston. The outside air is now at higher pressure than the air inside, pushing the water up past the inlet valve into the pipe. As the handle is pulled up, the piston is pushed down, the outlet valve opens. The inlet valve closes. Thus, it prevents water from falling back to the well. As the handle is pushed down again, the piston is raised, lifting water to the spout. The lift pump now lifts the water above its piston. As the outlet valve falls close, the rising piston lifts the water above it until it flows out of the spout. Atmospheric pressure on the water in the well pushes more water up into the pump. 